Hey, my friends, it's your friend Kevin from Charlotte, North Carolina, with my friend Freddie the Teddy. Today's Thursday, the 19th of uh, January 2023, and this is your card of the day. All right, so here we go. We're using the Shaman's Dream Oracle by Alberto Valongo and uh, Colette Baron Reed. Illustrated by Jenna Della Grotaglia. Oh. Mm. All right, here we go. Father in the sky, mother in the earth, God, angels, ancestors from all corners of the earth. Thank you for stepping in where you've always been. I set the intention that whatever is gained from the messages in these cards be for the highest good of everybody listening. So be it, and so shall it be. Number 58, The Vanishing Mirror. You know, it's interesting. Um, do we not have, we've, we've had a lot of the fifties this week, um, 57, 56, something like that all week long. So it's kind of interesting that I'll do a good deep shuffle and, um, they're all kind of like, uh, in sequence, but I've shuffled them anyway, the vanishing mirror. Well, we all have an ego, the stories that stick to ourselves when things are not going quite the way we want them to and we'd like them to go that way so our ego comes in particularly when we're fearful worried upset angry or in any other way um just feeling negative um the vanishing mirror is really asking all of us today to pull the veil away on anything that's not real anything that we believe and perceive as being just a false narrative, particularly in our own pathway, in our own life. You know, people are struggling, they're up against it. Um, <clears throat> the bills come in and we're not sure how we pay them. Um, you know, people experience health issues, not sure how they're going to get through them. Um, all kinds of <clears throat> things pop up. I also should point out that today, Mercury is going to be is out of retrograde and is starting to move forward now with these planets as they begin to um orbit or at least move direct move forward things moving again it takes a while to wrap them up so <clears throat> i would imagine that this weekend with all the planets that are going direct uh saturday sunday in there uh will be some pretty revealing revealing information that you may hear you may see you may witness particularly on the news so this card is uh particularly poignant because um listen somebody might be telling you a tale you might be listening to something in the newspaper on the news somewhere and it's not necessarily going to sit right with you there's a little nugget that I use, and that is to put pause, to push pause, take a break, take a step back. Two things. Have a look at what you are seeing, hearing, believing, tapping into. That's the first one. You can say, how do I feel about this? That's the second question to yourself. Third, what do I know about this? What can I do about this? And am I responsible for any of this? And if any of your answers to these questions really are not much of anything, don't know, move on. We have a habit, because we're human, of stepping in, getting involved, reacting, responding, letting our ego <clears throat> take over. The vanishing mirror is asking to pull away anything that's not authentic, anything that's not real. Say it as it is. Speak your truth. Somebody says to you, what do you think of this and that and the other thing? You can turn around and say, well, are you asking me because you think you know, you'd like to know or you'd like to improve something or just my opinion? Usually they want your opinion. So you can think about that for a minute, say, well, you know, in my opinion, for what it's worth, this, that, and the other thing. But don't take my word for it. Let me find this little guidebook, which I think is inside the box somewhere. Well, you know what? It's hiding. I'm going to find it. I am. Well, here it is. 
Um, if you could see the state of my desk, you'd know where they hide. Um, and there's lots of places for these things to hide. Um, on my bucket list of things to do is just to, well, it's just a mess of crystals and um, singing bowls, etc. Here we go. Letting go of self-centeredness, becoming a vessel of possibility. Do you ever wonder if your self-definition has become too rigid, too fixed around what you've learned or come to learn and so that you contract your life into the zones of the safe versus the unsafe? This is OK, but over there, well, that might be too risky. Judgment, fear, self-righteousness and overconfidence are only some of the traits that we keep evolving from. We're all products of our conditioning. So remember, this is part of the human experience. You're not meant to remain static, seeking only what you expect. Even if it appears ambitious, it's still too narrow. You go nowhere when you hesitate and move out of your comfort zone. When you hesitate to move out of your comfort zone. When you focus too much on yourself, you become a servant of the ego. It edges God out. It removes the magic of all possibility. Imagine looking in the mirror and seeing only what you are right now. Go to the mirror, find a mirror, look into it and see only what you are right now. If you can let your self-definition soften, move beyond the veil of your potential, a magical emptiness exists where all things are possible. Look again. Who could you be? What would you see reflected if you allowed yourself to be other than how you define yourself now? Nothing less is required. Nothing less is required of you now. In this moment, let go of who you think you are and allow a new you, the real you, the authentic you, to emerge. You will recognise yourself as what you are, a partner in co-creation, in service to the divine. That should feel really, really good. Louise Hay, for the longest time, did mirror work. I took some courses with Louise Hay in the 80s and reconnected probably about 10, 12 years ago in my work as a yoga teacher. And one of the things I did notice when I was teaching people, whether it was teaching them hair or poses or just showing them, you know, there's a better way for you, whether it's on a yoga mat, whether it's in front of somebody. And I don't know, I've been a career hairdresser now, I don't even know, 40, let's see, 1977. So 46 years in June, I took my first part-time job and then it went full-time two years later. What I notice when I hear clients talk to me, they really talk about how the person who's been working on the hair has done the same old, same old, same old, same old, nothing changes. You know, when I hear folks, I sometimes hear myself saying it. What we're going to do today, same old, same old? You know. When you take a step back, when a client really looks at themselves, really sees themselves, you can see something emerging. And that applies to anything and everything. You hear folks all the time don't like their job, don't like what they're doing. You could say, well, this is your lot in life. This is what you came to do. This is what you claim to do. Or you could let yourself dream a little bit. You could stand in front of that mirror, hold it to you. I mean, you really have to do this. Initially, when I started doing mirror work, it seemed utterly and completely ridiculous. I mean, the titters and the tatters of giggling was it was just who does this that's ego talking when you've been covered up and covered up and covered up and covered up with who you think you're supposed to be what you expect other people expect of you and listen let's not blame other people most people want us to be a incredible version of who we are 
They truly do. I believe that. Their intent is for us to do the best we can and be the best we can, particularly parents. Sometimes that version gets skewed. Sometimes that version gets tangled up. The other people's fear that we might not make it, we might not get there, we may not arrive, we're not really going to be successful if we do that. That's fear. That's the fear they've got because they don't want us to fail, really. The challenge is for them and their ancestors and their ancestors. They couldn't really see there's possibility and there's potential. I was blessed, I think. No, I know. I don't think. There was something within me that wouldn't give up. Something within me that would pull and say, I'm just going to go do it. And I was very lucky that I had family, teachers who supported it. Didn't quite understand it. Weren't quite up for it. Were like, ooh, don't know about this. Probably had sleepless nights over it. Probably. Possibly. Maybe they did. But never once said, you know what, you can't. You shouldn't. You wouldn't. Some things, but not the things that truly mattered. So today... Go back into the mirror work. Yes, it might be a bit ridiculous to look in the mirror and say that you love yourself, that you care about yourself, that you are all of that. It might seem a bit ridiculous, but that's where the truth is. You cannot get anywhere unless you truly accept who that is, especially if you're wanting to launch a business and your business involves working with the public and your business involves making somebody a better version of who they are. You have to get over who you are. You've got to find out who's this person in the mirror if you're going to ask other people to be a better version of themselves. Otherwise, it's a little bit like being an imposter. All right, my friends, I hope this has been helpful. I I am so grateful for your support, clicking that subscribe button, ringing that bell button, all those things. It really, truly helps. Uh, I'm going to set the intention that we are close to 200 subscribers. I don't care how long it takes. I'm looking for 2,000. I'm looking to look at these numbers and these analytics and seeing hundreds, thousands of people clicking on this stuff. Not because I'm wanting to be anything more than me, but because I think we have to collectively raise the vibration and the consciousness of this whole planet. We've got to change the narrative. We've got to help those that are struggling to make it, even if that means they just want someone to make them feel better for today. That's my mission. Can't change their reality, but I can change the way they look at it. Right, till tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye.